everybody, my name is David Shaw, and this is the inaugural episode of what I am starting to call Five Minutes of Photography. And what the goal of this is, is to provide photographers with a base of understanding of our art, and particularly in regards to outdoor and nature photography. Um, but one of the, the reason for this is I've noticed a lot of photographers who come on my photography workshops, which are mostly you know wildlife and landscape and, and outdoor related stuff um, in Alaska and, and Africa and elsewhere. Um, but I've noticed that they come along with a, you know, some people don't always have a full understanding of our art and uh, a full understanding of even the very basic part of even how to run a camera. Um, and that's not a bad thing. In fact, it's a really good thing. I want to see people come onto my trips that way because that's an opportunity to learn. And we all have to start somewhere. Uh, we've all been there. Every photographer who's ever lifted a camera has had to learn the basics at some point. But what I've found is that people are particularly novices, but everybody, um, is scared to ask those questions. They kind of think maybe they're just supposed to know, or they've already, should already know before they're coming on a workshop, or they are just generally, it's, it's a stupid question, and so they leave it unasked. With these five minutes of photography mini lectures, um, what I want to do is give people those basics, is to answer those questions from the start. So, Today we're going to start off with the absolute basics, the camera. With photography, you can take outstanding images with uh, a phone, with a point and shoot. Um, I have published images in double page spreads that I've made with point and shoots. I have published uh, you know, phone photos. So it's not a limiting factor to the basics. A basic camera is not... Um, it does not preclude you from taking beautiful images, but it does lack control. And what a more advanced camera, so this is one of my cameras, it's an Olympus um, OMD EM1 Mark II, not that that matters, um, but it's a good, uh, what a more advanced camera like this will allow you to do is it gives you more flexibility. You can do more things. And there are four settings that I think every photographer needs to know first. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So uh, if you look on the screen here behind me, I am going to pull up the camera on my um, iPad here. And here are the things that I think uh, everybody should know. So situated on the right side of this camera, but it might be on the left on yours, is this knob right here. And it's got a bunch of letters on it. Um, these, the ones on this side, um, you know, art, whatever that means, you'll see a lot, every manufacturer, Sony, Nikon, Canon, uh, they've all got different things that they'll, they'll put on here, but they're more, they more or less do the same things. I avoid everything, um, that isn't P, A, S, or M. Um, sure, there are some custom function settings, whatever. We're not going to talk about that right now. If you feel the need to explore your camera in greater depth, then you can learn about that later. Um, but what I want to talk about is these four settings, P, A, S, and A. So P is program mode. And think of that as automatic, that the camera decides on your aperture and it decides on your shutter speed for you. Um, it doesn't provide you very much control. Um, depending on your manufacturer and your own personal settings, uh, the camera you may allow you to control the ISO, um, but it doesn't allow you to control anything else. It's automatic. It's a good you know function for pointing and shooting, allowing you to concentrate on composition without having to think about your settings, but it's not very flexible. Uh, the camera decides on the things um, that make an image yours um, and doesn't allow you that control. A is aperture priority, and aperture priority is a setting I used more than probably just about every other setting. Uh, it allows you to control the aperture, which is the opening in the lens. So that's how much light is allowed into your lens, and it also controls something about depth of field. The next talk in this series is going to be all about aperture, so we're not going to talk about that right now. But just remember that A allows you to control aperture, and the camera takes care of shutter speed. S is shutter speed. One allows you to decide on the shutter speed, and that's how fast your shutter opens and closes. 
to expose your sensor or your film if you're still shooting film. And the camera decides on the aperture. So you set the shutter speed and the camera makes the decision about aperture. M is full manual. So that means you decide everything. Everything is in your control. You decide on aperture, you decide on shutter speed, and you create your image. It gives you the greatest level of control, but until you have a good understanding of both aperture and shutter speed, uh, I would leave manual uh, alone for a little while. So if you're just picking up your camera, let's master the other two basics before we start trying to put them together. And that'll be one of our talks that we will work on later, um, but those are the four main settings of a camera, from point and shoots to DSLRs, um, all cameras will have some version of that capability. It will vary from camera to camera on how you go about setting it, but those four things should be available on just about every camera on the market. So that is 5 Minutes of Photography, Volume 1.0. Uh, there will be a Facebook group on my page that will uh, uh, talk about a bit about this. I'm going to be, in future episodes, we'll be talking a bit about some homework assignments, and I want to make this new Facebook group that I'm creating a, uh, a place where we can be welcoming to all photographers from advanced uh, to beginners and be a place where we can really help each other. I will be heavily involved in it, ready to answer your questions as much as I can. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoy this and look for the next episode coming up soon.